Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 95 of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2014 with Bath City. And here it's time to sign up some contracts. And I've got a few players that accepted uh, so far. You can see Byers, Spencer, Berkeley, Agyapong. Players definitely part of the future. You can see Byers 21, Spencer 19, Agyapong 20. And yeah, what I usually try and do here is reduce the wage as much as I can because that's crucial. I want my available wage budget. Yeah, I want as much as you can, of course. So a lot of the time I use the player clauses, whether it be giving them extra money per appearance. Well, I usually don't change. I just leave it what they want, but then I usually change things that are unrealistic. Uh, them, like unused sub, I usually, yeah, if I know they're a player, I'll always bring on like attacking player, especially when you can only have four outfield players on the bench. Well, not... You'd, that's the A-League, but um, I, I'm usually using a goalkeeper now, so that's what I mean. Usually with the outfield players, there's a good chance they're going to come on, especially as I basically do three subs all the time. So yeah, that kind of stuff, and like international call-ups, which I'll never get, and leading goal scorer in the league for maybe some strikers when, yeah, probably won't happen, like Tolly or something. But actually, I haven't offered Tolly a new contract. That's an interesting one, uh, because honestly... You know how I've been talking about, he doesn't look, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look that good. Uh, if we're going up the league, that's what I mean. Like, will he be good enough in League 2 if we get, that's why I'm holding off. On some, I'm holding off offering them in, like a new contract. Because if I get promoted to the next division somehow, if I have a really good finish to the season, at the next half of the season, it could happen, definitely. Obviously, finish first, yeah, to finish first will be pretty hard from here, but uh, definitely I'm in the mix for the playoffs. So, yeah, I can't jump on heaps of them, but obviously players that I know that are young and are going to improve. But Tolly, yeah, I don't know how far he's going to improve because he's only got potential, and that's from our good judgment, Stuart Wood, the good one. You can see 18 judgment for potential and 16 for ability. He's only a good player potentially for this league, and right now he's only decent for school north or south. So, yeah, even though he's got a decent return, nothing too amazing, only three goals, but, yeah, that's what I mean. It will be tough. And yeah, I offered heaps more, not just these three. There's heaps more. And yeah, I, I was able to reduce some actually, which I was surprised by. Uh, yeah, I was happy to do that. But yeah, before I go to use that available wage budget to sign maybe another player for this season, uh, yeah, I just want to yeah offer the contracts to know how much I'll have because I don't want to go in the red before I offer contracts and I can't yeah offer the best. But anyway, what was I going to do here? We don't have a game yet. The game's in like five days. But... We have a FA Trophy second round draw, uh, which you know I do want to try and win this. So we draw all teams. So we get faced against, ooh, seemingly it could be an easy team. It depends what this Scalmers, they, all, they would have been promoted uh, from whatever league they were in. If you go, but they're second. So they must have, yeah, they must have done well to get in that kind of position uh, with their signings or whatever. Who do they have? Who's this Marat? Yeah, Regen. Who's their best player? If you go by value, 23, they've got a guy on loan, I guess. On loan from Sunderland. Whew. Good effort, but he doesn't look that amazing anyway. So not surprised they're letting him go to this level. Archange Nkumu, on loan from Braintree. I've always seen this guy around. Was he from Chelsea or something? Yeah, I knew. Yeah, he was from Chelsea. But is he... What He's been playing in... Oh, he played school premier a couple seasons, actually. Now he's on loan... So should I get a scout report on him? Because he's quick. He's a quicker type. I'll just at least get him my shortlist scout report as well. Yeah, sometimes it's good to do this personal scouting. Sometimes players you might not come across uh, when you're just yeah searching for players. This guy, pace and strength, not too bad. But yeah, just yeah. the point of that, we're playing... Will it be home? Oh, no, it's going to be a away game. And Kidder Minister, who are currently 15th in the league. Um, how have we gone against them previously? Kidder Minister... How many games have we played against? Yeah, we only played one game away and we lost 2-0. Uh, but of course, we'll have another game against them. So that's how that's going to go down. And that will be actually the second game in this episode. So yeah, watch out for that as we move on. But we've got Rochdale next. Huge game. Oh, no. Bad injury here for Matt Hollett. Of course, yeah, it's, he's got huge potential. So I guess it's not crucial for right now. Of course, he's been a pretty good player. But our other defenders are about the same level right now. Of course, he has potential, but he's 
Oh, and oh, big news on him. He must have just accepted in those other messages. But yeah, I really wanted to tie him up for a long time. So when he reaches a good level, of course, with his high potential for a good championship level, he doesn't just want to leave and we don't get anything for him. So I wanted to tie him down. I tied him down to uh, two, yeah, 2022. So that's that's a big contract. That is a big contract. So uh, yeah, that's why I said I just want time down for a while. And yeah, hopefully get that. So leave your thoughts on that. Giving him a long contract. I wouldn't do that for anyone apart from him, basically, because of how... Oh, I did offer Tully a new contract. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was able to lower it a bit. So Jepson, yeah, I put him in the under-18s back anyway and the other guy because, yeah, I wasn't using them. And Woodward as well. Um, yeah, Hollett, like I said, extended his contract. Gave him a, a bit more wages, but to extend him to 2020. Because if you think about it in two years' time, maybe when I'm in 2019 and offering the next... If I'm just offering him like a new contract every year, he may want more than that at that time. So, yeah, he's at least going to be at the club until then. And yeah, Tolly off a new contract as well. And Kumu, that's what I mean. He has a decent report. Could sign him for free. That's the thing about players at this level. You could just offer them like zero. Yeah, offer to the team for zero. And you could sign them. Yeah, if they accept, I guess. But um, yeah, he seems like he'll be good. But we don't desperately need that kind of player right now. But maybe for next season. Depends who's coming in, who's coming out. But again, if we get promoted, we can again have to step up the quality. Gurney... Uh, right midfield, actually. Well, he played right wing for me. But you know, it's just every team of the week, just a 4 4 2 formation. Uh, ben Garner's uh, doing a great job. He's got a contract to next season. So, where are we sitting right now? On the See, it's already in the red. And I thought I reduced wages by a lot. I did give Hollett a bit more, and he was basically it. I'm surprised it went into the red by that much. Uh, but anyway, that's what I mean. That's why I didn't want to go out and sign someone else because I wouldn't have been able to offer contracts um, with as much as I did. And yeah, I, I have to say, like sometimes I forget about it a little bit, but I'm really happy about how kind, like how successful this kind of series is. Like this series is, it's really, really good. A lot of people want this. When I started, I wasn't really sure if people want to see a lower team, but yeah, it's highly requested and requested for me to do this in the future. But I have to say, it won't be my first save. Yeah, it won't be my first save in FM15. I'm going to be doing Manchester United first. I'm doing Manchester United in career mode and FIFA, my first careers. But I'm not going to wait too long like this one because obviously being realistic, I'm not going to get to the Premier League in this game. But I'm not going to start it too late. I'm still going to yeah start it with a decent amount of time. But I'm not going to do two football more than two. I'm just going to do one football manager save uh, at least for the majority, because I would be focusing a lot on FIFA as well, I want to say that, but yeah, I think I'll just focus on one football manager save, when I do what I want to do with Manchester United, uh, then I'll start a Bath one, or unless there's other requests, but yeah, I guess Bath will get good views, because I did it already, and people will like to see that again, but yeah, uh, realistically, I'm just going to do two, and people probably laugh at that right now, because I start heaps, which I don't really care about because lots of people start heaps of football manager saves. But if it goes the way I plan <laughs> in my head, I'll do Manchester United, you know, win a few Champions League, that, then finish it after a decent amount of time, and then start a Bar City one. Just two big ones. That's it. Two. Uh, that's my plan anyway. It may not go that way. It just depends how things go um, and how much I grow my channel and all that stuff. May be requests for something else. We'll just see how it goes as well. Okay, so here's the next game, and a crucial game at that, at home to Rochdale. Uh, they are fifth, and we are vying to steal their position. Uh, depending, oh, I was going to say we could go up to second, but of course, Wrexham, their goal difference is really good. But if I compare to the other teams around that area, our goal difference is there, if not more. Especially to Dover, they're a team in my sights to steal their position. They've only got a plus four goal difference, so yeah, they haven't been as good in that way. So yeah, I'm really... Uh, going to try and win this game. And also, uh, the way I'm kind of choosing my team now is on players that I've already offered contracts to. Mostly, like here, I've brought on Berkeley, Agupong instead of Ball, who I played McKenzie. And also, yeah, both, both sides. Players I've already offered contracts to, but players that I need to show me they deserve a contract. But also, like, guys like Stavrenu, I've brought out and bring buyers in because, yeah, you know, I offered him a contract. But Stavrenu, I'm unsure about. 
because if he get promoted, he may not be good for that level. But he's got decent attributes. He's got he's a good tackler, and he's got some decent mental attributes. His teamwork as well, team player. Uh, but yeah, giving Byers a new contract. He's a young player with potential to grow. What's his potential uh, from the good judgment? Yeah, uh, good league too. So uh, once he gets to that potential, at least he'll be a very good player for the school Premier. At least he'll be superstar. So yeah, that's the way I set it up. I reckon. Just thinking a bit here, who should I bring on? Uh, it's not, yeah, Jamie Dean probably needs match fitness. So I'll take out Plowright. Is he another one or did I offer a contract to him? Nope, yeah, he's another one because he wanted a decent amount. Oh, and that's the thing about offering contracts as well. Because uh, a lot of contracts are, oh, my players were on were offered last season before I turned professional, before the club turned professional to getting to the school premier. So with that... A lot of my players are getting on full-time contracts now. Not all of them, but yeah, a lot of them that I'm offering new contracts, they're getting a full-time. So yes, we're going to spend more time training in that. So that's good. That is really good. But of course, with that, they're going to be getting more money. They want more money for a full-time contract. So you can, it can be a full-time job for them. They need a decent amount, obviously. But we'll go on here, try and get a win. Tolly back. I gave him a contract after a lot of negotiating, actually. He's on 300 per week, and he's getting... What's his clauses? Like, his appearance fee is 240, goal bonus 325, top goal scorer, like, over, like, 6K, because he's not going to get that. And, yeah, 50% for promotion, ways rise, because he actually wanted, like, over 500 per week. So, obviously, that's going to cut in. So, what's better, taking that 500 or offering high stuff there? It's hard to say what will be better, but, yeah, that's what I do anyway to try and reduce actually what the current is, available wage budget, so you can sign good players. But anyway, let's try and get a win here against Rochdale. It's going to be a hard game. Like, they're one of the better teams in the league. They, they were predicted to come first at the start of the season by the media. So, yeah, trying to be, if we beat them, it will be insane because we were expected to get relegated, finish 23rd, and they're finish, <laughs> expected to finish first because, of course... Yeah, coming down from League 2 after getting relegated. They're going to be hard to beat. We're going to have to put in an amazing... Oh, we can put one more sub, can I? But yeah, that's what I mean. If It'll be fantastic. I'll just, yeah, put Plow right, I guess. Come on. Yeah, playing Charnley as well, because he's played really, really well when he has done. More so in the Cup. League hasn't played so much, but... Yeah, he is going to have a game here because Woodward is out. That's what lone players are for. When a main player in that position in your team is out, then a lone player comes in. It's a huge game here for us. Go to opposition instructions. You've got to check out their players. Uh, who's Justin Daniel? Oh, he, oh, wow. Whoa, look at that for a region. He looks beastly, as you can tell by my reaction. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's on loan from Coventry. That's a beast player to get on loan. Have to get a Scarapult. Maybe I'll try and get him on loan next season. Uh, Spencer Walker. Again, another... They're just full of beast regens, and he's actually contracted to them. That's what they are. They're just full of beast regens. He's got pace. Uh, pretty good dribbling. Finishing isn't that great. But yeah, they're striker. How much has he scored for them? I'm surprised he hasn't... Yeah, he hasn't scored more. Um... But I'm going to show him to his weaker foot and tight mark him, because he looks dangerous, at least. How about their winger? Uh, Keanu Marsh Brown. I like the look of him. He's really quick. He's he's pacey. Oh, but he's on heaps. He must have dropped down from a higher level. Okay, he didn't. I'm surprised. Like I have no one near that money, like over a K. But yeah, I like the look of him. Like pacey, really, really quick. Acceleration's high, and he's got dribbling. I was gonna say maybe a replacement for Ross Stern, but he's got a contract till yeah, 2020, so probably wouldn't have the cash for that. But he looks like a dangerous player, definitely. So he's going to show off a weaker foot, tight mark. And yeah, I reckon... I know, close down as well. Yeah, that's it. And now we'll say passionately... We're favourites. How can we be favourites? That doesn't make sense. Just do it for the fans. Yeah, Gurney gaining confidence. That is good, but... Surely we cannot be favourite to win this game. No, let's go preview. Match analysis. We're favourite to win. And they were their media prediction was first. So it just shows you how far I've come. Amazing, sure. 
a lot of people like to talk about how long it took me to get promoted, but look where I am now. If I got promoted in the first season, I might have not had all these young players that are bringing me to where I am now. So think about that. Definitely. I think I've timed it perfectly so I can get consecutive promotions. It would have definitely not happened in the first season with the team I had. But yeah, after getting a few guys like Gurney and making a few young player signings that are beasts, it's shown. And I'm happy about that. But yeah, if we get promoted, League 2 will be a tough one. Come on, tackle him. You know, we do have a lot of guys with potential like League 2, League 1, Championship as well uh, with that centre-back, but they score here as expected. That's why I say they probably still do have better players, so I don't understand why we're favourites. But yeah, uh, definitely like I was saying with all our potential players, we're going to get promoted one time or another. But you can see they're getting a knock. They're not good. And who was that? Yeah, Phillips against Walker and Spencer Walker, that really good play they had, yeah. Like, like I talked about, those high attributes, really pacey in that. was always going to be hard. And just before halftime, oh, that's unlucky. But we could maybe get one back here. Come on. I've Oh, just gave it away. Don't concede two this quick. No way. And Keanu Marsh-Brown. Told you it was a yeah, dangerous player, but... I'm really disappointed we conceded then. Very disappointed. We held them off. And we'll go assertively. Do you even want to win this match? And I'll change. I'll go attack. Because we are at home. Come on. Oh no, they've got a free kick. Ah. I know I always say it. I've been saying this season because I've been doing so well. My expectations are higher for myself. Like, we have a chance to get promoted, but... Like, that's nowhere near our expectations. We're not expected to get promoted at all. But it's, it just gets disappointing when there's a chance to. That's what I mean. When there's a chance to, you get disappointed. But don't forget, playing against a team that's expected to come first. So it's always going to be a tough gig. Ah, oh, it's just... You can tell the quality difference, the errors we make compared to them and their movement. Look at this. Look at this. That's what I mean. They're, they're too good. Oh, it's disallowed, but it looked good. Might give us some hope, but yeah, look, we look unable to cope with them. That was really close, though. That's why I thought it was a goal. But we're going to have to make some changes. George Byers off, Stavrenu on. Um, ball on, I guess, for Agupong. Hasn't played well. See, we still have heaps of young players. That's what I mean. So here, Guillaume is to come on for, yeah, Gurney. No, actually, I can't do that. Because I was going to put, yeah, Guillaume's on for Tolly and then put Spencer there. See if we can do anything. But it's a hard game to expect to win. Like, to be favourites. I was really shocked about that. But again, like I said, it shows how far we've come to be favourites against this kind of team. But we could score, maybe we do. Oh, we have a chance. We have a chance in Garner, another assist. He's a beast. That's what I mean. We wouldn't have had him if we got promoted in the first season, I think. I can't remember when I got him, but still, like, yeah, or you wouldn't have been at this level. That's what I mean. Might have a late chance. Should I just overload? Might have a chance. Or they may score. You might as well go for the win, but if you're not winning... Yeah, it's a pen. And we tried our best. It's a goal. <laughs> uh, oh, Churchill, what a save. But we... I, I can kind of in my head there. I was thinking, like, I don't want to celebrate too much because we're not even going to win. So, like... But it was a good save. But it's like we're still losing. <laughs> Maybe I'm on overload. Please, a chance, but there's no time left. But Garner, Spencer, nah. And Samuel was on, but a good save by Churchill again. He did the best he could, saved the pen. But yeah, they were too good. But I'm happy I didn't get demolished against them. Like, going into this season, if you think about it, like, we were expected to come 23rd, and you have a match like this faced against the team that's predicted to come first, and you only lose by a goal. I'm happy about that. We didn't get dominated. I've got to be happy. 
I've got to put, yeah, I've got to look back at our expectations, where we're sitting as a club. I'm happy about that. Of course, you can't be happy to lose, but if you compare teams, it's not that bad. So here, Vaxi signed up a new scout in Paul Montgomery. Uh, he's really, really good, especially for this level. Uh, some very good attributes uh, for the judging, at least. Judging player ability 18 and potential 17. Uh, really, really good. You can see he's been uh, Chief Scouts. Oh, actually, I wanted to get him as a Chief Scout. That was a mistake. But anyway, he's been Chiefs. Can I? I won't be able to give him a new contract, will I? Okay, he will. Can I change him to a Chief Scout? That's what I wanted to do originally. Oh, but he has no job interest in that. Okay, we're going to have to try and get another one because I'll talk about what I meant in a second. But yeah, he's just good. Uh, he's a good natural scout, so he's going to find good players because uh, staff responsibilities, I'm listed as the sets assignments for the scouting team. But it says, yeah, I can't click on update you on the players your scouts have found. So that must be the chief scout, his job. But I just sometimes I don't concentrate when I'm offering. But yeah, I'm chief scout here. No, there's not as good guy. I'll just do this guy. He's pretty balanced, 15 and 15. Chief Scout. Okay. 300. Then put it back to 300. Try again. There we go. And then he should accept. Like, he's not too bad. He's a balanced one. Uh, Paul Brayson. Yeah, he's got 15s. So here we are. he'll be good enough. But the other guy is really good. He may, But he didn't even want that role. So, yeah, I couldn't anyway. But, yeah, nonetheless, he's a really good scout. And hopefully will help us find some players. For example, the guy I just signed, his report, who did he come with? His first scouting report. Yeah, this. He found John Batchford with a five-star potential ability. Of course, he's good at judging, um, as I just showed you. Yeah, an ability as well, 18 and 17. That's really good judging. And he would be a decent player uh, for Skrull North or South Sides, but he has potential to be a leading League One winger. So this guy must have potential in him. But yeah, I'll just keep him on my radar right now. No one else is interested. So yeah, like I said, just keep him on my radar because we're in the red for the wages. So yeah, can't really. But for now, what we have to focus on is advancing in the FA Trophy. And what's the money for winning that? Rules, where are we? Yeah, 5.64K. You can see it's increasing. But yeah, I want to go all the way. I'm going all the way with this. Of course, I have to win here today, away from home. But... Yeah, Stavrenu is going to come back in after George Byers picked up an injury. He gets injured a fair bit. Uh, Woodward's back, though. This is exciting. Woodward in. Charnley to the bench. Of course, you can't have another sub. Um, anyone else? Yeah, Hollett's injured, unfortunately. You're going to have to play McKenzie. And Bongu. I think I'll take him off reserve games for now. I think he's played enough to get that fitness up. But yeah, he won't come on. Dan Ball will come on for Berkeley Agapong. Jamie Dean? No, nah, i got to leave it. Tolly to start. This is your chance, Tolly. People say he's good, but he has to shine. He has to shine here. If he doesn't, he can't be that key player. Gurney has to. Well, I'm only playing him there. Yeah, see, there's opportunity to play... Yeah, there's opportunity to play player at right wing here and put Gurney instead of Tolly. But Tolly, I'm giving you the chance to show you are good enough for this level. But if you're not, if you fail today... Uh, you're probably going to be out of the team again. And Gurney will take that position. So how about these guys, strikers? Curtis Haley. Doesn't look that good. He's got good finishing and dribbling. That's about it. So if anything, I'll just tight mark him. But they've got poor morale, really poor. So we're going to have a big chance. Kevin Barker. Decent rated regen, this guy is. He's got 20 determination. He's a danger. He scored 10 for attacking mid. We have to be careful of this guy. I'm going to get him a Scaraport as well. He looks good, this guy, judging of his attributes. Could develop decently, but like I said, we'll tight mark this guy showing a weaker foot for the strikers. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, we have to avenge last time we lost against them 2-0 away from home in the league. Come on, boys. I know you can do it. I know you have the quality. And Tolly, you have to shine. This is the stage. This is the stage where you have to shine. And they get a free kick. I hate that so much. It seems like it happens so much at this level. 
when they have free lo- yeah free kicks like that, and then it rebounds. We'll check on the replay, 3D replay here, to see what exactly happens. Like this. It always happens. Well, does, does he actually save it? Or it comes off the bar? I don't know. Like, I don't see that at a higher level. Like when I play, like a manager Premier League team, I never see that. I don't know why, but I see it a lot at this level. But it's not like the goalkeeper's fault, it just came off the bar. Yeah, I don't know. Just a bit unlucky. We'll see what we'll do here. Whether go attacking or not, I'm not sure. I'll just pause it anyway if we don't. Gurney. Oh, goal. That's what I mean. Gurney even scores from wide and Tolly's done nothing. 13th goal of the season for the Wizard. I call him the Wizard because of his hair. But yes, that was a good goal by Gurney to get it back. We won't go attacking now. Keep it. I'm not sure. Is there extra time in the FA Trophy? I can't remember. Or do you play a return leg? Don't even know. We'll go a sur- Oh, no, you do. Because obviously it was between Kidderminster and another team. They would have got a draw, like, to play against me. Uh, but here we have to go passionately. We can still get a win today. Yeah, look at that. Dan Ball motivated. Come on. I know you can do it. We have got the quality. If Tolly could score one of his magical goals, it will be, I think, it's a Jew. He hasn't for a really long time, it feels like. Hmm. See, that's what I mean in the big games. Can he do it in the huge games? Not like the... Like, Screw South, of course, was a lower level. And he hasn't done it. That's what I mean. Uh, dragged. Uh, we'll bring on player right. That's what I mean. That Not good enough for that level now. Charnley and Dean to come on now for someone, I think. Or maybe not. I'm not sure who else. I'm just going to leave it now. Just two. Because don't really have anyone else to bring on. Unless... No, nah, McKenzie too low and yellow. We'll bring on Agapong there, then bring Ball centre back. He can play there a bit. So Plough had to come on here. Looking happy. Charnley. Agapong. Let's go. Let's try and win this. I know you've got the quality. As I've said already. Yeah, Phillips has been really good. Not that. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. But yeah, we get it back here. Well defended. But he keeps giving it away. Think before you pass. Or just clear it that far. Yeah, that's a bit better. Oh, can we go for a winner? We'll be insane. It's... It would just be amazing to have a competition won. Like if I don't play many more seasons... If I just play one more season until FIFA 15 is out or something. If I have that, at least I can say I won a competition. That would be that would be really good. Especially with a team of this level. So that would be good. But, ooh, it could have been denied there with a goal. But yeah, luckily he missed. Uh, it was a pretty bad effort, if I'm honest. Just hold on. Hold on to the draw. Physio. Player rights picked up a knock. But we're going to hold on. We're going to hold on. We'll have a late chance, maybe. Maybe? Nah. That's why I hate that highlight at the end. It was never going to be a goal. But I'm going to say assertively, yeah, we proved them wrong. Everyone thought we'd get beaten. Get that good morale-boosting team talk. Uh, we're unlucky not to win, honestly. We had 57% of the possession, but no clear-cut chances, so... Okay, this is the day of the replay. We're going to have to get back. We'll take Plowright off. Might as well have a goalkeeper on the bench uh, here. Yeah, Mbongu, should I bring him in? We'll bring him in for McKenzie. Maybe he can get a corner goal or something because that's, yeah, that's definitely his strength. Um, not sure who should bring on because our attack's really strong. Like I was thinking, Williams, but Spencer, his attributes. It's hard to go against him. Now, Tolly, I don't know. But lucky for him, we don't have many other options. So I'm going to give him another go. Come on, Tolly. Do it for us. I know you can. That form when he came in the first season. 
in the youth intake towards the end of the season that helped us get to the playoffs, but unfortunately lost on the playoff final due to penalties. It went so close. But we'll go in straight in. We've got to look to win this. Passionate. Do it for the fans. Come on. The fans are everything for a club. Okay, what the hell happened there? We have early possession. That's a good sign. Woodward plays through Tolly. Can he do something? He finds Gurney. It's Spencer. All those regens combining together. See, they're not real players. They're regens. All regenerated young players into the team. You see Tolly there. And he found Gurney. And he used his head. Oh, he's just too good. He just jumps up. No other player had a chance to get it. He found Spencer. What a combination, those three together. Oh, no, Churchill. Oh, we put the goalkeeper on the bench, yeah? He said he needed physio. But luckily, it wasn't forced to come off. Come on. Uh. Oh, I won't count. Yes. Come on. It was bound to... Yeah, I'm not getting many disallowed goals, actually. My opponents start to get a few now. And yeah, that's, you can see, clearly offside. So, correct decision by the ref. Well done. And yeah, I'm just in a better mood right now, honestly, because I'm just simply just enjoying the game now. Uh, like I mentioned a couple of times already, just playing until FIFA 15, doing something I enjoy, and just relaxing. I know that's going to come, and yeah, it's an exciting time. It's just, yeah, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing right now with YouTube. It's, yeah, I've got to thank everyone who's watching my videos. I really appreciate it, because it allows me to do this, really. So yeah, it's, it's really cool, because I'm just <laughs> having fun, uh, playing Football Manager and making the videos for you. And um, yeah, hopefully you actually get something from it, uh, because it yeah, shows me that my time is use. For something good, I guess. Even though some people disagree. Once I got a big comment saying, like, I'm wasting my time making videos or something. But, um, yeah, people seem to like them. So I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And this is even a better thing as we go ahead. By another goal. <laughs> what a goal by Ghana. And Tolly as well to get another assist. Well, kind of. <laughs> uh, Gurney was in there again. And it's again another region. All these regions coming through. Like I mentioned previously about how I wouldn't have had all of these guys if I got promoted in the first season. And they're being my key players right now. So it's really good I'm building my team off of these guys. Probably need to make a sub, but... It's, yeah, it's clearly better. You can see the difference playing at home. But Tolly again, uh, hasn't really made a huge impact. But you can say the same about Gurney. Because he's got the same rating and less condition. But Agupong, uh, I'm thinking who to bring on here. Actually, Charnley. And then I'll drop Ghana there. Uh, nah, he can't really. I remember I was training him to play defensive mid once. So no, not that. What I will do is bring on Charnley for Woodward at least. And actually, yeah, I've changed Ghana's role to box-to-box -box midfielder. Because obviously, Charnley is going to play a lot advanced playmaker. That's what I was teaching Ghana before. Uh, but who else to come off? I don't even know. Oh, I know. I'm going to be on Jamie Dean for Tolly. And then I'll just put Dean for Spencer there. Makes it a bit more balanced. We'll leave a sub in case we get an injury. Uh, Charnley, just say pressure off. He's relaxed. And Dean, same thing. No pressure. There you go. Let's go. We're going to advance the way it's looking. We'll just make a late sub here for the last 15 minutes or so. Or well, 20 minutes. And Agapong for Dan. No, actually. No, nah, I don't even know who to... No, nah, I'll take off Dan Ball. Just make sure natural positions. There you go. Just hold on to this very, very good 2-0 lead. And sorry if this episode's too long, but some people like these long episodes, like 30 minutes. So, uh, yeah. Sometimes it's good with the three games. And like I said, I'm just simply just sitting down enjoying making the videos right now. Yeah, chilling, playing this lower league management. It's really good. Oh, no, there's a chance, though. Wow. That's a pretty poor effort to not get on target from there. But, yeah, luckily for us. A couple minutes remaining. We're looking to have this right now. It's very good performance. Finish it, Spencer. Yes. We advance. We've got it for sure now. And it's good, yeah, Dean on his return. Uh, back into the first team after his injury. It's good for him to score. And of course, Spencer dangerous from the free kick uh, to set it up. And yeah, we've got it now. Uh, very convincing win. Very, very convincing. 
Yeah, it's going to be a 3-0. Again, just solid defense. And to get a clean sheet, really, really good. Really, really happy with that. Suspenser, yeah, he was sensational. Scored a goal and assisted. There we go. There we go. Really, really good. We're going to get the money. We got the possession again. Just we we're better in attack this time because I did change the training before. Well, not exactly just before the game, but in the lead up to the game. Uh, training to attacking and attacking movement. That always works well for me. I usually like to do it uh, before I have, well, yeah, when I have a few home games coming up against beatable sides. And yeah, we're given some money, 5k, not heaps, but yeah, we advance. And that's about it, yeah. So hopefully enjoy this episode. Some decent results, uh, some bad results as well, like a loss uh, against Rochdale, but yeah, against a hard team, predicted to come first. And Kitty Minister, we picked up a draw away, then we got the win um, at home. That was well played. So hopefully enjoy this episode. If you did, drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time.